Much to the dismay of diehard fans, over the past few years, Hallmark actors have left the network. So who are they and why do they leave? Hey guys, welcome back. It's Gabby with Binge Now. Today we're going to give you a rundown of those actors who found fame at Hallmark and then left the channel due to reasons we shall soon reveal. So today's video is actors who got paid the most to leave Hallmark. Without further ado, we're going to get right into it. We're going to start off with Hilary Burton. The one and only Hilary Burton is known for her role as Peyton Sawyer in One Tree Hill. First of all, you don't know me. Second of all, you don't know me. She soon became a recurring face in the Hallmark movies, such as The Christmas Contract. So, who asked who out? I did. And Summer Villa. Could you please not set me up with any of your uptight friends anymore? I'm not uptight, I'm a, I'm a good time girl. Burton claimed she was disappointed with Hallmark's lack of representation despite the fact that Hallmark Channel appears to promote romance and happiness. She had done multiple movies with the network and ultimately left in 2019. She tweeted in 2019 to explain why she had been let go from a Hallmark film. I insisted on an interracial couple, an LGBTQ character, and diverse casting. In the series of tweets, she said that she had been forthright and professional about her demands, but when the notes from scripts came back, she was upset seeing that none of her requests were executed by the company. Burton was asked to take it or leave it, and what did she do? She left it. She said she was super pumped for the project, the script was close to her heart, and she was left with no choice when it simply came down to morals. Fans were sad to see Burton leave, but she always gave them more. Since then, she has went on to be a part of The Walking Dead. Are you playing with children? Uh, teenagers, I think, mostly. And now hosts a show as herself called True Crime Story. It couldn't happen here. Here's what she has to say about the transition she has made. To get over the hurdle of being a host into the acting world was a journey, and now having to convince people that you can also walk backwards and go back to hosting is another adventure. Burton also has a podcast with her former One Tree Hill co-stars and has written a book that received great ratings from readers all over the world. Up next, we have Danica McKellar. McKellar was a child star that got her first acting role when she was 13. She starred in ABC's The Wonder Years, and that was just the start of her amazing career. Hi Kevin. Hi Paul. Winnie Cooper? Besides acting, McKellar is a mathematics writer for young kids and has published four books. Did you know this talented artist even holds a PhD? McKellar was part of 16 Hallmark movies and was a regular on the channel. She made her debut with The Perfect Match, winning hearts all over the country. She starred in great hits such as Christmas at Grand Valley. What's that? Kiss you. And we all know Crown for Christmas. Oh, gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you better run! McKellar was one of the most notable actresses to have left the channel and fans were devastated to see her leave. The actress left Hallmark in late 2021 for a new deal with the GAC family run by Bill Abbott, the former CEO of Hallmark. She praised the former CEO and said she was thrilled to be working with him under a new company. McKellar was offered a multi-picture deal to feature as an actress and an executive producer immediately after her final release with Hallmark, You, Me, and the Christmas Tree. I mean, who wouldn't make that switch then, right? Out here. Please, I'm a third generation New Englander. I'm I'm good. <laughs> Don't say a word. The trailer for her debut movie with the GAC family is called The Winter Palace. The movie came out in January of 2022 and it was a huge hit. Who goes there? Uh, what? Hello. Hi. Uh, uh, if it's a package, just leave it at the door. Thank you. Up next, we have Trevor Donovan. Trevor Donovan, who is best known for playing Teddy Montgomery in 90210, has established himself as a familiar face on the Hallmark Channel. No, you, you decided. I decided I, I didn't want to. Teddy. I love her. Dad. Donovan is one of the biggest heartthrobs out there and was one of the first to leave Hallmark and join GAC. He made his Hallmark debut all the way back in 2012 with the film Strawberry Summer. Did you just say you don't eat strawberries? Never have. Well, you will now. Since then, he has been a part of wonderful hits such as Love, Fall, and Order. Well, that went well. <laughs> and USS Christmas. Wow, great artist if you drew this. What's the journal say? His final movie with the Hallmark Channel was Nantucket Noel, where he played Andy, the son of a developer who wants to demolish a wharf that is close to his love interest. Nantucket Lighthouse. 
You said it was a special spot for your mom. Thank you. Donovan left Hallmark in October 2021 and signed a deal with GAC Family. He got his first role in Jingle Bell Princess. It's got leftover pizza. I've never had that. I feel like you're messing with me. And Aloha with Love, which released in May 2022. How exactly did she choose you to be the contractor? Believe me, I was just as surprised as you to find out. His sudden departure from the channel left fans speculating what was really going on with Hallmark. Moving on to the next actor. Lori Laughlin. Lori Laughlin is one of the most beloved American actresses. She starred in the very popular series Full House as Rebecca Donaldson. Darling, I just hope you're all right. But if you are all right, I'll kill you. <laughs> Laughlin, who is also a producer, made her acting debut in The Edge of the Night, an ABC soap opera at the age of just 15. I am being held here prisoner because I am a threat to you and your gang. Laughlin co-created, produced, and acted in the drama series Summerland on the WB from 2004 to 2005. Her hit series, Full House, was taken up for a sequel called Fuller House on Netflix, and she was reprised her character much to the joy of fans. I've been singing forever, forever. <laughs> I'm never singing forever as long as I live. But sweetheart, it's our wedding song. Hit it, Rippers. Laughlin was last seen in the Hallmark Channel series called When Calls the Heart as Abigail Stanton. You're working too hard. I think you need to have some fun. I have fun. She was truly a beloved character and stayed on till season six until her unfortunate scandal. Laughlin was let go from the channel after her involvement in the college education scandal back in 2019 that was openly discussed in the public's eye. Really centered around her and her husband playing half a million dollars to get uh, her two daughters into USC as athletic recruits for the rowing team, even though neither one of their daughters had ever crewed. The Fuller House star and her husband, Mosimo Giannulli, were caught bribing the University of Southern California with $500,000 to claim seats for their two daughters. Since the scandal, Laughlin has pleaded guilty and has served two months in prison for her crime. After years, she is finally returning to acting. She is reprising her role as Abigail in a spin-off show called When Hope Calls, which will resume for a second season on the new GAC Family Network. Now this is very nice. It says, I like being your friend. Is that the message you wanted to send? Her re-entry to acting has brought a lot of attention to the GAC Family and their association with the actress. Oh, Jack. Oh, I've missed you too. Next up, we have Jen Lilly. Jen Lilly made her acting debut as a supporting actress in a silent movie and soon climbed up the ladder. Her first on-screen debut as Teresa Donovan in the famous Days of Our Lives established her career. What the hell is going on here? What are you all doing here? Why are you all wet? Surprisingly, she's not only great at acting, but she also has a career as a musician. Lily performed at a benefit concert in Georgia and also came out with her Christmas album in November of 2021. The star was popularly known for her roles in soaps like Days of Our Lives and General Hospital and very soon turned into a popular seasonal actress Do with this. Hallmark. Please, I mean, I love talking about your research. I mean, all day long people are like, Maxie, enough with the cancel research talk. We get it, your boyfriend's a genius. She was part of great films such as Snow Kissed. Chapter three, embracing your place. Is this part of the tour, by the way? No, this is just some friendly conversation. Well, maybe we should get back to the tour. Yes, absolutely. And USS Christmas alongside Trevor Donovan. I can't explain the moment I saw her, I felt like I was looking into my future. There was just something about her. <sighs> it's so... Undisciplined. She too moved on from the channel by signing an exclusive deal in January of 2022 with GAC Media for two years that included four original movies. She has recently starred in Royally Wrapped for Christmas, which has won the hearts of many. Please pass me that bowl, Aiden. I'll hand you two. Lily has also hosted the Great American Christmas Celebration for the GAC family. Hey everyone, I'm Jen Lilly, and I am thrilled to invite you to join us for the first ever Great American Christmas Celebration. I'll be with Coming up next is the queen herself, Candace Cameron Bure. Candace is a popular actress, producer, author, and panelist for talk shows. Besides her long list of talents, she has also starred in Dancing with the Stars, where she finished in third place. Carrie Ann Inaba. Nine! Lynn Goodman. Nine! 
She has made her big hit as DJ Tanner on Full House and even came back for the sequel. A triple wedding! <laughs> Bure stated in April of 2022 that she was leaving Hallmark and transferring her skills to GAC after spending 14 years and 29 projects with the channel. Since her appearance in Moonlight and Mistletoe in 2008, Bure has been regarded as Hallmark's uncontested Christmas queen. It's a wonderful thing having you come back home. I miss you too, Dad. GAC Media signed a huge deal with the alum of Fuller House to create, produce, and feature in GAC Family and GAC Living content. Bure will also assume a notable executive position at the business and assist in selecting the network's programming. Several well wishes were sent to the celebrity, but some fans were obviously worried about their favorite show, The Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries. The actress first appeared in Hallmark Channel's Moonlight and Mistletoe and ended her association with the final Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries Haunted by Murder that she also starred in with her daughter, Natasha Bure. Did you turn that painting back around? No. In fact, I had to turn it to face the wall a second. Candace said in her interview with Southern Living that she was excited to work with GAC and create heartwarming and family-friendly content as they fit her brand and said it went hand-in-hand -hand with her aim of inspiring more people. And last but not least, we have Daniel Leasing. Daniel Leasing is an Australian actor who made his debut as a firefighter in an Australian series called Home and Away. Is your own life so boring you have to mess with other people? Is that it? What? Say what you like to my face, but don't talk behind my back. Leasing made his debut in When Calls the Heart as a Canadian Mountie called Jack Thornton in 2014 and continued playing the role until 2018. Faith didn't try to change me into something that I'm not. In fact, the last thing she said to me before I came back was to remember who I am. Jack, when have I ever tried to change you? You wanted me to take the job your father offered me. No, I didn't. Due to unknown circumstances, he left the series in season five, and his character was then killed and written off the show. Fans were devastated by his departure, even though it had been nearly three years since he left. Just tell me he's still alive. Sorry, <laughs> he then starred alongside Jessica Lowndes in A December Bride as Seth and had fans swooning. Are you saying your offer still stands? Yeah, my offer still stands. What? You're reconsidering? Maybe. Maybe. I'll text you my address. He won the hearts of many as he and Brooke Dorsey starred in the channel's Christmas in Love movie in 2018. And the holidays are a time where we get to reassess before the cycle starts again. I guess that's one way to look at it. In late 2021, Leasing returned to the role of Jack Thornton for a brief cameo in When Hope Calls, A Country Christmas. You tell her that true love never dies. I know that now more than ever. We must say, the GAC has looked out and acquired some great actors. We can't wait to see what they have in store for us. Well, that's all we have for today, guys. Thanks for listening thus far. And who are you going to miss the most on the channel? Please let us know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And for more, check out our other videos and click on the bell icon to be notified every time we post. We will be back with more great videos. Thanks for watching.